Let's talk Windows XP. It's a operating system which is still remarkably popular despite Microsoft's attempt to kill it. It's holding roughly 17% of the market share at the moment behind Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Um, only Windows 8 and Windows Vista come behind it, I believe, in terms of current Windows operating systems. So this means that lots of people are still going to be using XP. But this also means that there's going to be loads of exploits that Microsoft won't help you out with anymore. But surprisingly, it's actually pretty easy to keep moving on if you don't want to leave this lovely operating system behind. So. Firstly, I would recommend that whatever version of Internet Explorer you have, be it 6, 7 or 8, get rid of it. You do not need Internet Explorer anymore. It's too full of vulnerabilities, it is completely unsafe to use. So I would recommend picking up something like Mozilla Firefox, which I believe they haven't announced any plans to stop making XP versions, or Google Chrome which says that they will continue to make updates for XP until at least April of this year. And obviously for quite a while after that, Chrome will probably still work, because really Chrome only doing minor updates to the same general program. So that is a good thing to have. You're also going to want to keep your antivirus up to date. If you've been relying on software such as Windows Defender, get rid of it, you do not need it. Instead, pick up something such as Avast Free Antivirus 2015, completely free, it does the job. Or you could always get Malwarebytes, which is an excellent program if you've ever watched Rogamp's videos. That is always a good choice. Another thing I would recommend that you try to download would be the Windows XP Unofficial Service Pack 4. Now this is a very big download, so it's roughly one gigabyte in size, but it's completely free. It's been developed by a single guy and it basically brings your computer up to date and I believe it also allows XP to receive the embedded updates that Experience RCOS was mentioning in one of his videos about how to get updates until 2019. I will post a link to their videos in the description below because they are particularly useful. I would also recommend keeping plugins such as Java and Flash fully up to date as that keeps any vulnerabilities out of the question. And finally, I would recommend that if you are running XP in a VM, this is exclusively if you're running it in a VM, although if you have a physical network this might be a good idea, you might want to make sure that your shared folders are kept safe, otherwise you are pretty much at risk of transferring viruses around your network, even if you have PCs which are, old, which are newer than XP. You're going to want to keep your email clients safe and secure, so Outlook Express, things such as that are going to need to be kept in check. And I'm not sure if Windows Live works on here, but Windows Messenger obviously no longer works. That was unfortunately axed, I believe, two years ago, maybe one year ago. So replace it with Windows Live Messenger if you can. But yeah, that's about it really. Most programs still work with Windows XP, so if you want to stay with this operating system, you can, you just have to be a bit extra careful. I'm RCT3 Crashes 100, over and out.